Pleasure to welcome the Clark Kent of doctors, Dr. Sportelli. <laughs> Listen, Clark Kent's a smart guy. He's a little nerdy, but so am I. I'll take it. Now, Doc, let's talk about sleep. A lot of people are struggling with sleep, sleep anxiety. Sleeping medication is an easy way out. Is there a safe way to take sleep meds? I'm a medical doc, I'm a psychiatrist. I do prescribe these medicines sometimes. But these medicines are meant to be short term. They're not really meant to be a long term solution. Billy, if you take those every day, you're gonna develop a tolerance. And that means that you're gonna need more and more to get the same effect. And then if you stop, you're gonna have rebound anxiety and your anxiety is gonna be worse. Billy, what two things are the only things you're supposed to do in your bed? Uh, sleep. And hey now. You got it, you are good. So that's part of sleep hygiene because if we do too many things in our bed, watch TV, stay up on our iPads, binge watch, our mind doesn't associate our bed yeah. with sleep. So the only two things we should be doing in our bed are sleep and or intimacy. Bye now and hey now. <laughs> you get, exactly. Now because of this period we're living in, a lot of people when they fall asleep are having some wacky nutty dreams. Does this yeah. current era you know, is that the reason yes. why? Yes, and I'm one of them. I gotta tell you, I'm having some crazy dreams. I'm having some really bizarre dreams now sexy too, ones? right? So like good sexy ones or? or... I, I actually wish that was the case. No, yeah, just weird stuff. There is science behind this. So get this, history and research tells us that anytime people go through a major change in their lives or high stress periods, have really bizarre, vivid dreams and they tend to recall them more. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.